the attraction of riding adventure bikes for me isn't about the bike itself. It's about where they can go and the memories that you make in the process. When you can leave the tarmac behind, it feels like you can leave the world as you know it behind. There's a sense of excitement when you go into the wilderness. It feels like you're exploring places that nobody's been to before. Adventure bikes give you a sense of freedom that I just don't get from other bikes. This film is the story of four friends taking on one of the biggest adventure bike challenges in Europe, the extreme class of the Hard Alpi Tour. We're as ready as we're ever going to be. Absolutely. Okay, so which category are we going to ride? Then? Extreme. Ready, ready? Is the ready. first time? No, we were here last year. Last year, this time extreme. Okay, great, enjoy. Thank you. That's our race cars. It's not a race. No, sorry. Sorry. It's not a race. It's, it's not a race. Event. It's never a race, but it's, it's always a race. Buongiorno. Ciao. 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 Rider motorcycle. Rider. Rider. Buongiorno. Rider. Grazie. Rider motorcycle también. Four riders, four riders, yeah, okay. It's mandatory to put the speaker in the front fender like this. Okay, perfect. That's what's coming from It's mandatory one for the rider because. It's very really useful for the dinner, for the lunch, yes. And uh, also for the casino, for the drinking. Okay. Okay. Andrew, Carlos, Joe, and Sam. All right. Enjoy the ride. Carlo, l'italiano, Italo, Argentino. For Italo, Argentino, Carlo. Bravo, bravo. They're all going to know who he is. He's an Irish, Italian, Irish. Who's paying the deposit? We need the 100 euro deposit. Andy. It's always the first one that's paying. Yeah, yeah, well. Okay, I forgot something. <laughs> Who's the rich? Just uh, wait. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually. <laughs> my name is uh, him. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's okay. Vamos a birra ahora. Andiamo! Look at the tracker on you, not the, yeah. bike. the battery is uh, already charged, okay? Yeah. Uh, with uh, recharge, uh, already, already saved, no problem. Okay. So, Carlos, tell us about your off road journey so far. Um, in English? <laughs> yeah, in English, preferably. <laughs> okay, I started off roading in January this year, and now I'm in the extreme 
had a glass on the hat event thanks to Joe. <laughs> what kind of rider are you? Uh, I'm a pro rally warm why um, FMI certified rider. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That's a long title. Yes, so, I do feel. I'm not saying it. <laughs> By the time we'd signed on it was lunchtime and we didn't need to be back at the site until nine o'clock. But by the time that we'd eaten, loaded our bikes, checked our kit three or four times, suddenly the day had gone and it was time to get back. I'm sorry. How are you feeling? Excited. We've got about two and a half hours. About two and a half hours to go. Hopefully, I'm going to get some idea now. He's got the gear. So we've got two and a half hours to go before we start the Hard Alpha Tour Extreme 2023. I'll be excited, team. Yeah. Nervous. Nervous. Yeah. We are nervous. We're about to go and do 40 something hours, about 800 kilometers, and as you can see, it's dark. And we're going to leave here about half 11 and ride straight into the mountains. And apparently we're going to die. It's a 50 50. 50 50. Good odds. <laughs> Let's see how we get on. We also had a tarmac team of three riders that would leave San Remo on Saturday morning and meet us at the halfway point at Bovis on Saturday evening and then again at Sestria on the Sunday afternoon. And that was it. All of a sudden, the organizers were rushing us onto our bikes, getting us into the queue to start the event. Eight months of planning and training was over, and it was time. This was the biggest event any of us had ever taken part in, and the crowd and the lights and the start line stage really added to the tension, but there was no going back now. It was time to go. Thank <laughs> you. 
particularly tired but the problem is if we don't take a few hours sleep now we're going to be in daytime and we know that our our sleep tomorrow night is going to be about 1 30 in the morning so we're taking opportunity to grab two or three hours sleep here now before it gets light then we're going to move on but we're doing really good Okay, so it's now, what is it now? Uh, five to five to seven. This is our, uh, this is our hotel for the, for the evening. Okay, it's a three star. Three yeah, yeah, it's a three star hotel. Sam slept there. I slept there. Andy slept there. Carlos shut there. No, he didn't. That's actually not, that's not the worst hotel you two have tried to sleep in this week, is it? That's <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the chainsaw and the lawnmower. The chainsaw and the lawnmower. <laughs> Dollar, I need a dime I took a dime 
One o'clock Saturday afternoon, so we've been going now for about 14 hours, and we had a, about three hours stop last night. But it's it's hard and it's hot, and we're shattered. So we've we've dirt jumped just off the route, and we, we we're struggling in that we we're, we're losing time. So when we get to rest stops, the rest stops are shut. Well, there's only been one rest stop so far, hasn't there? And that rest stop was already shut by the time we got there. So we've, we've come just off the route and we've, uh, we've come to Citadel. Really, really nice place. And um, we found a little bar. I'm going to get a sandwich and some cold drinks. But this is a lot harder than the classic. Much harder. Derretida? Sciolta? Sì. Si. Ehm, che c'è già il pomodoro, provo. Eh, yeah, per favore. Prego. Grazie. 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 Grazie, mio amico. Sì, we can't do without him. Yeah. Just thinking, you know, if I didn't sort out the, uh, the site last night, when we got to Sestri, I'd have had no way of getting the air back in to be able to ride down to some reason. gone that far it's just frustrating when you when we've managed to get back on time and you think everything's fucking honky dory it's just fucking but well spotted because I hadn't seen that so I'd have, I'd have carried on going I thought we were going the right way well it's a fucking good job that you 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 saw it because I, I genuinely did it
Enjoying it. Bueno, estamos en Bobes, la primer parada de 24 horas. Excelente. Mafra, hasta Sam, hasta Chau, hasta Andy. para los de la categoría clásica que son las de 24 horas y los de string que somos nosotros los de 48 horas muy buena muy buena atmósfera y acá está el tinglado para que comamos así que a parar una horita comer hacerse un poco y seguir y se viene la noche Okay, so it's now quarter to one. Sunday morning, pretty shattered, been back on the road since 10.30, so two and a quarter hours, and uh, we're trying to get to a, a particular, we're trying to get to a ski resort called Ruckas to spend about three or four hours sleep, but um, this is what you get sort of along the road, you've got those refreshment stops, and we get these tickets, and they look after us. Biscuits, cakes, drinks, what we got? We got coffee? No, no coffee. No coffee? No coffee. No coffee. Oh no. So, no coffee. what do you want? A peach? Go on then. Get a coke, please. Are you ready? <laughs> what about this peachy drink? Is it peachy? It's okay. No, no. Please, please. Don't do that Tell to us. me. No, no, no. Tell us how you... I'm feeling shit. Tell us. Tell us. Where are you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a clue. I just want to go to bed. <laughs> Honestly. I Tell want us. my mom. I want to go to bed. What, what day is it? <laughs> don't fucking know. <laughs> what, what? I don't even know what I'm drinking. <laughs> what, what time is it? <laughs> Who the fuck knows? God, there's a massive... What is that one? Look at that Sam. screen. It's your turn to answer. What day is it, Sam? Uh, Sunday. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> More than likely. <sighs>
stay true to the fire in your heart and your soul Don't quench your desire and when you can't control We fly, we fly, try so hard to get there and we might I got you in a picture, okay? I'm filming you. Yeah, of course, I'm filming you. Don't do anything silly, okay? Come on. Bring a lot of those, Mike. Extreme class down some really really hard trails, and the descent down into uh, Sestriere was apparently very very difficult for them. But I did it. Really proud of them all. Don't drop the bikes now. Climb down, oh. Joe. How's the climb down? Hard. Oh, difficult. Is that the most tiny thing you've ever done? Come on. Sunglasses on. A group. What are we having? GoPro selfie. <laughs> Doing what you want. That's so gay, but let's do that. Okay, so we're up in Sestriere. We finished the 2023 Hard Alpi Tour Extreme. Very extreme. extreme. <laughs> very extreme. We said a few beers. So, <laughs> one at a time. Sam, how'd you yeah. find it? Honestly, it was a battle against myself at times. Um, but I'm very glad I did it and saw it through. And it turns out that my riding is not quite as good as it needed to be. <laughs> Carlos? Uh, soul breaking, I would say. <laughs> soul breaking. If, yeah, if, you shouldn't hold back. Don't sit on the phone. Uh, That's what you really, really feel. Yeah. I feel um, done, wasted. Um, I couldn't do it without the team, I must say. I thank you all. I don't think any of us could do that. So yeah, so, so yeah, it was probably the toughest thing I ever done in my life, basically. That's it. But you're glad you done it? I'm very glad I done it, yeah. yeah. I pushed my fears. Likewise, it's, it's been the hardest thing that we've done and as a team of managed to get more of all the obstacles, but I think everyone's fatigued and ready to. Have a shower. <laughs> shower. A shower would be nice. 
the biggest thing we've learned as a team is that the biggest obstacle is being for middle-aged men. <laughs> Sweet, <laughs> we've covered you them. Are, we've you covered are. them. I'm not really, I'm considerably younger, you've got to remember that. But he looks so old. <laughs> no, we, I, feel, we, I feel like a, a middle-aged man now. I mean, I, get, my back hurts. He can oh, get, get grumpy very easily. I, I do. Let's just run through list of ailments, okay? My, my back hurts, uh, my leg is pretty much broken. Uh, and Andy hands. tried to run me over. Oh, and my hands, I can't do hands. that anymore. Wrists? Uh, no, my wrists are fine. So that's me, Carlos. Oh, so many. Just, just, give, just give us an overview. They're just lot. They're just lot. He, he fell down the stairs at the Airbnb. So you know that twisted his knee. That was. A, yeah. That was and then I dropped the bike once. Bike. Yeah. It, it was. It was. No rugby. Andy, what's hurting? Everything. <laughs> okay. Mainly back, hands, yeah. wrists, all the stuff that's been getting a workout for yeah. us. And, and, and Joe, if you can remember all of yours, <laughs> yeah, could, 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 could you just come through them quickly? A bear attack. I got, <laughs> I got attacked by a bear in the woods. Yes. But no. Or, or a raccoon. We're not sure. No, I got attacked by a raccoon. Oh, that that's separately. They, they both happened. Uh, what about the hedgehog that tried to kill us? Hedgehog, hedgehog. Was yeah, we had a hedgehog yesterday. And lots yeah. of cats. Yeah. Really cross but it's but been mainly, great... we've done it as a team. We did. That is the most important thing. And it's been a thing. great, great, great trip. So. Take for food. What next? Time. Dakar. <laughs> Dakar. <laughs> Dakar. We got time on our side. In a state of hope, I need you on my phone.